My name is Favor Obinyelba, and for a lot of you who might be watching Nka for the very first time, Nka is an evil word that translates to art in English. And so on Nka, what we do is we get to talk to people who express art in their various forms. Music, movies, food, business, culture, philanthropy, anyhow you want to express yourself, you know, whatever field you're doing, we get to have conversations around, you know, the artists, we get to have conversations around their field, what they could be doing better, they get to tell us about their journey, share their vulnerability with us, you know, everything that they had to go through to be who they are today, and of course we get to learn from them, connect with them, and of course, you know, have some really, really, would I say, I don't want to say controversial, because I'm not that kind of person, but we have some, you know, some very interesting conversations. We get to know them a bit better. You know, they get to talk about their colleagues, you know, in our game segments. It's a lot of, a lot of fun that happens on Nka every 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Apia TV. And tonight, I have a very, very, very different personality on the couch. Someone I'm ex especially excited about. I know I always say I'm excited to hear this person, but this one, especially excited to have this conversation tonight. And when we come back from the break, you get to meet my very special guest. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Unka on Apia TV, broadcasting live from Enugu, the coast city, DSTV254, and of course, GoTV17. On our socials, it's Apia TV official. Just before the break, I said I have um, a very, very, very special guest, someone who I'm excited, you know, to have this conversation with tonight on our couch, and is none other than, let me first say his designation, if I say the name. So he's an artist, a producer, and a guitarist. So his field is music. And he has worked with some of the biggest artists in Nigeria. You know, I went through his page, was doing a little bit of research on him, and I was like, ah, this boy is big. This is my ticket out of any good state. <laughs> this is the reason why I'm going to jackpot. I've seen my one-way ticket. <laughs> I have with me none other than CJ Obasi. You are welcome to yeah. the show. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you have this awkward vibe. I don't know. Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Coordinates. Um, oh, yeah, no. Let's go now. <laughs> hey, I trust I you. It, it looks very, very good. Very stylish. Yeah, thanks. This man is tall. Like, tall, tall. Yeah. And you don't know how tall you are. Um, well, you know they bother me. You know, like, height is something that guys used to get babes. So I don't understand how. Mm -hmm. Like, you just walk up to a babe and I'm like, hi, I'm six foot and... Got to <laughs> and got to height and aspect. Then you're pass. good, cause you're tall, tall. I think you should be like six, four, six, five. Maybe, yeah. Why don't you know? Well, I I never see him as reason. I don't see a reason why I should know. Yeah, you never do me for body to know. Are you like serious? That. So, well, you know that thing they say. When you have something, you like you don't really it. value that it. Is. Like other people that don't have it, yeah, true, so true. that's that's what it is actually. Yeah, I know one of my colleagues, Ima. If he was as tall as you were, he would value it so much. Problem, good. He's, he's not, so it's fine. I guess I guess that's what you say. But I'm really shocked that you don't yeah. know how tall you are. You're really tall. I wish the cameras could like do justice, but you you're really tall. But let's move away from that. For people are like, ah, this girl is height your team. Relax. <laughs> so now CJ Obasi. Let's start with how did you. Because I think your name is, you don't have any fun. Hmm. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you today. I always say you don't have any funny stage name. I would have been on and can be like, so I had funny stage name. You know you had funny stage name. <laughs> but I think CJ Obasi is like your, it's your name? Yeah. So what's your full name? So my name is Obasi Chijo Kepo. So that's just CJ Obasi. Very, very yeah. simple. I'm not going to kill myself. Honestly, you seem like a really simple person. <laughs> And so, the okay, whole, Obasi, Chijo, K, Paul. Yeah. What state are you from? Enugu State. Enugu State? Yeah. I want to say one stereotypical thing about Enugu people, but let me just, let me chill it. <laughs> Today is not the day. Maybe another time. Yeah. So, did you grow up in Enugu? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Yes, I did. Um, I went to school in Enugu. Then, I decided to move into Lagos. I've been in Lagos for... <laughs> Let's say three years and some months now. Three years and some months now. Yeah. So you have you moved or are you still? Yeah, I, I moved. Move I moved fully to Lagos. Yeah. Three years then and some months now. It's here that is the. Okay, that yeah. you're coming once, this, once, once. My family is here. Mm -hmm. My mom, my siblings. Yeah. So they are all I have. 
just a brother, a sister, and my mom. And you family. guys are really small. It's like a small yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. That's cute. I can't relate, man. <laughs> I have four brothers and two sisters. Oh, my. you really go through it. Oh, my, oh, my God. Justice for me. But that's really nice. I feel like you moving to Lagos like three years and some months now. I feel like we can. You're one of the people I can have this conversation with. Yeah. The whole Jaffa thing. But I think we'll have it later. <laughs> Later, <laughs> later in the program. Fine, fine. So, how did you start music? You're a guitarist, a producer, and an artist. Yeah, I like to see myself like someone that taps from the source of music itself. Like I do other things. Like I play some instruments. I'm a producer. I'm an artist. All those things are different languages of music, mm. but music is the source. Mm. So I tap from the source different to speak different languages through my guitar, through production, through arrangement, whatever it is. Yeah, so music for me is a foundational thing because my dad was a gospel artist before he passed away. I think this should be like um, 12 years now that he died. I, I think he's quite popular in the local here, like the East um, Party Obasi. So, for a lot of time, I don't try... People, they always carry the glory of my hard work. They'll be like, ah, it's Party Obasi's son, he's supposed to be this, but actually putting a lot of work to actually be this CJ Obasi I am right now. So, I have to get to a point where I'm at peace with them, people passing the glory to me, I'm like, this is what you are, this is what I am, I've accepted it. All results now results. And mm -hmm. what I'm looking for is results. Wow. Yeah. So, um, you come from, your father was musically inclined. Yeah. He's a big musician, yeah. big man in music. And so, he just made it, are you the first son? Yes. So it's just natural, like for you, music is something that was like in your yeah. veins, just yeah. flow naturally to you. So when did you start officially? Officially, well, let's, let me say like 10 years ago, I took music seriously. Then this is um, four or five years I've been playing the guitar. Then this is like three years I think I've been producing. Just three um, years? Yeah, um, uh, music is my thing, you understand? I, I don't stress to get a fire skill. I have the ear. So mm. all I do is just put my mind to it. And with time, I don't know say life requires process. So I can't just be good overnight. I've learned to wait in the process and value every moment of developing that skill and making that art beautiful. This guy is humble. Why I say because he has been producing for three years and he has produced for Ladipo. Yeah. Produced for Make Must Shine. Yeah. So this humility that you are saying, so just life is in the process. It's not your people's meto. I love it. Because <laughs> when I went to your page, um, a producer told me C J is coming. I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Because the thing is, we don't know producers. Mm. Like we hear it, pro pro um, probably we could hear it like in the beginning of the song. But I think nowadays the producers are even showing face. Yeah. You know, then you don't know who a producer is. So it's now, so when you told me to job, I said, okay, I don't know. I went through your page, like do research and everything. I said, mm. ah, it's not a small boy. Oh. <laughs> like, Crazy. you know. So now, um, you've been in the game officially for 10 years. Yeah. I still want to go like to the beginning, beginning. Because I feel like secondary school is when like everybody like finds out yeah. If you know financial like secondary school, <laughs> so you don't have talent at all. Forget Absolutely. about this. Yes, yes. So how was it like for you, like secondary school, then uni? How was how was like your musical expression like during secondary school and uni? Okay, um, secondary school, uh, I did the whole music department. Can you, at the point, I think I was like the. Okay, what thing did they call on that time? Kwamasta. Something like that, <laughs> of the music department, like yeah. as a student now, yeah, yes. in my senior class later. So, yeah, I played the piano in secondary school. I did stuff. I played the drums also in secondary school. I learned the bass in secondary school too. 
I, I think I, I really gathered a lot of knowledge now that I'm even looking at it in my second school. So, yes. in uni was um, a lot of uh, decision making for me. How far I want to go. I really want to do this thing. Yeah. This thing will give me money. Mm. Um, so many other important questions where human beings they ask mm -hmm. himself mm -hmm. when in the look at and purpose for life. So, yeah, that's second school. Then uni, I was making decisions who I want to be, and I'm like, I'm a guitarist right now. That at that moment, so I want to be the best in this shit. Yeah. So yeah, I started playing guitar. I did, I, I begin playing. All of a sudden, I can't notice. Say me and that instrument gets one special connection. Mm. Yeah, is the guitar to me is not just an instrument. Is uh, one of the first languages that people like. When I'm playing guitar, exactly what I'm hearing in my head is what I hear on the guitar. Yeah. Like I've mastered it to that point where what I think is what I'm playing is up. Then for my artist side, my singing side, I've always been singing for a long time, but now low key, based on some people no really show me love, but. If you dare serious with your life, you know go use because say some people no show you love, love yeah. do some kind of things. So yeah. It was hard, but I finally got a hang of it and knew what I am supposed to be. And I'm working towards it. So that's on my foundation. Well I don't think well, I don't think if my dad was alive, I don't think I'll be where I am today. Maybe I'll I, I was they, they get time for my life where I know to really understand what in the happen. I just the room about you understand, and all of a sudden one day I was like, "Guy, calm down, you decrease, <laughs> organize yourself." And from that day, it just all of it, I I just changed and started like walking towards the me where I see for my head. Yeah. So and then I they really go through this um, Joseph the Dreamer cruise. We say most of the people where I don't work with, where don't maybe big achievements, I don't see them for dream mm. before I meet them in real life. Wow, it's a crazy thing. Maybe say as I talk, I'm like this. Joseph could be like this boy, the smoky boy. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but, no. I believe you. But, I believe you. Yeah, I believe you. If you like. <laughs> If I don't believe, make a rest. Yeah. <laughs> That's how, actually how it is. So before I did Reason, like before Reason, the producer that produced Reason, before I met him, like I saw him in my dream before I met him in life. And some other people, I saw him in my dream before I met him in life. Mm -hmm. So it don't happen on some occasions or a number of occasions where don't convince me, say, na real P. Yeah. Like it's actually there. And... I know they take her for granted. I'm very, very, very spiritually aware. I don't do things anyhow. And I they really consult my spirit man before yeah, any movement. Yeah. How would you um, um, describe the influence that having a musically inclined or coming from a musically inclined family has had on your journey as an artist? Um, firstly, um, I see myself like my dad of this generation mm. and Patio Basi was such a genius that people no really catch up to how far he was like it was almost as if the era was not for him yeah. in my own opinion yeah yeah so it's great having a father like that. At Did least. he put pressure on you? Was that pressure of, oh, yeah, I have to, I yeah, have to? Yeah, um, well, there was pressure. He didn't pressure me. Like, yeah, when yeah. he died, uh, people were like, people don't lose guard me normally. You know, say when person don't die, we be big star boy mm -hmm. like that. You go discover people way no day with you normally. Yeah. So, there was pressure. Some people were like, Kine Zuzu. Like, what are you doing with your life? Say, make I go, they sing my papa songs, they go for shoes, say, 
ego meet me and be Cubana say they go display me money. But uh, I see myself pass like that and I don't care how it sound. They, I mean they care, but I don't care again. And I did see myself pass that stage of life. That will limit me so much. Like yeah, my true, point of true, artistry. True. I can really do a lot of things and things will be say right now people never tap from the place where I did tap from and I, I really feel say when my shit starts getting really head it's mm -hmm. going to really stand out yeah. and I don't want to make another person's life influence my life I, like I don't want another person's life to influence my life because as you are living your life I will not disturb you. Yeah. So don't disturb me when I'm living my own because you know actually care. You feel me? I agree with you. It's it's really when you it's not even just music, you know. Mm -hmm. People like people that have like wealthy families or have influential families, there's this pressure. Everybody, you have to follow, see the way your dad is, see the way your mom is, you yeah. have to follow this particular yeah. step and it, it limits these people from having to find their own path. Or having to say, okay, you know what, this is actually what I want for myself. You're, you're blessed and you're lucky enough to be able to still want to even do music or even to that part of music. So yeah. people even want to do something entirely different. Mm -hmm. I know, you know what, I want to experiment with this. I want to experiment with that. But yeah. how are you able to... <laughs> I, remember, I know you just said that there was a point where you were like, I did Chris, what am I even doing? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but how are you able to, you know, get to that point where you're like, you know what, I actually want to figure this thing out by myself. I want to, yes, my father is a legend and he's such a genius, but I also want to be mm -hmm. a genius for myself. I want people to be able to see that, yes, I'm also really good at this thing. Yes, I must have gotten it from my dad or whatever, but mm. I'm also my own person and I'm doing my own thing very yeah. well. So, there was a point, there's a musician, a lady, I know good like call her name, but she really influenced my path, my, how I decided to propose my life. So at the point of my life, I was at a very delicate point of my life where I was trying to decide, Omo, will I do this, um, my father's thing, and face it? Face it fully, yeah. Or will I face what is in my mind? And personally, I believed that um, church music like really didn't give my father the kind of like I don't know as I could take explain now but I feel like in my opinion I feel like he would have done better if he was not doing church music because the man was such a genius like he made all his all his arrangement of his music was from him like the structure of his music was from himself. So Patrick was kind of was a kind of man we would say as he day in head, now so in one here and real life. And he tried his best best to it's get to result. Like yeah. So I reached out to one of those musicians when I met her in a show somewhere because I did play normal gigs now. Yeah. So I met that musician in a show and I was she said, ah I told her one particular person. She was like, oh no, I call me now. She gave me a number. I called her. I was like, Mama, um, before I called her, for the first time in a while, I actually like really seek the face of God, and I really believe say I did hear God. Uh, hearing God does not have to. God is whoever He has to be for you not what you want. If God is best for you as a father, that's what he will be. If he's best for you as a friend, that's what he will be. If he's... So to me, God is like my guy, my big bro. That's how I see God. And so I'm like, elder spirit. Do you understand what the term I mean by elder spirit? That means I'm, I'm a spirit that's from that source. So he's the elder spirit. Like, I'm the spirit from that spirit. I don't need to talk really. No, no, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Me but, and you, they flow. We did the same request. Yeah. Like, no, 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 so, no. I didn't listen to you. So, I reached out to her. Before I called her, I prayed. I said, God, 
anything where this woman talk now, I could decide whether I want to do this my papa church music thing or, or I want to explore the because all my adventure happens in my music. Yeah. Every adventure I have in real life is solely to generate inspiration for my music. So everything till, still boils down to work. So I called her and I was like, God, anything she says is what I will do. If it's the wrong path, now you do me this thing. Because I know say you know they death. I know believe in ginger prayer. Mm -hmm. I believe that whoever I'm talking to, Understand. if he exists, he can hear me. And if action is not done, like, it's meant to just go that way. No matter as they want to tell you, say, ah, you know, go grieve for that. Normally, you have the ability to fight for whatever you, you want, want your destiny to become. Be so, but I believe that it happened for the right reason, and I'm way happier right now. Yeah. I will not have myself, like, lying to masses to tell people that I'm a good boy, um, you know, I can't do that shit. But I will just speak my truth. Yeah. Because that's all I have, actually. I have nothing else but my truth. Because... Now my truth, now the only thing will go follow me go when I don't die. Mm, yeah. And now my truth, nine people go know, go know as me when I don't leave this plane. So, yeah, I called her. She was like, I said, hey, Mama, uh, how far we don't we don't greet all the normal animals. Then she can't say. <laughs> then she can't. I can't tell them say, Mama, uh, please. Um, give me a platform, I need a platform for, like, for this music thing. It's like, no, no man can give you platform. Mm. Only God can give you platform. Like, I feel like some different feelings as I hear that thing. First, I was angry. Yeah. 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 I was angry. You can't even be that from Destiny Which, Upper. <laughs> first, yes. And then I was like, I heard now only God she give you platform. And I was like, in my head, I was like, you don't hear that more. I detect the error spirits now. And I be overthinker like yeah. mad. I de, if you listen to my music, which very soon, um, something, an EP is up in this room right now. So by May, first week, now, Expo, because I didn't want to like say say it normally. I'm, I was just like going to be like music out now. You understand? Do my shit. Since we I don't they do snippet, they do things. There's no difference. So I want everything out now. Actually, I plan three EPs for this year. See? Yeah. Yeah, hard work out. Yeah, and all wow. the songs are ready. Um, mix and mastered. And all I'm doing right now is just shooting. Snippet I want drums. to really prepared for this P because so many people don't doubt me will be say you know that um, way they say you know say problem go day if I get with it I define mm. but they just they use me they play <laughs> we'll get to that part we we'll get to this part but you're yeah. still um, saying you're still talking about so how did the conversation later end we have yeah, um, I don't forget that one. No. <laughs> so she, I can't, she can't talk all these things, finish. She can't say, make I pray. No waiting God really gets in store yeah. for me. Say, no be more, say, I go do this music thing. Mm. And that, that kind of thing, as I hear him, I was like, nah, you don't talk, I don't hear. Like, no wala. So from that moment, I was like, I told you what I want to do. And you allow this thing to happen. Mm -hmm. So if this thing don't happen like this, I be free to do my shit too because I don't tell you. So from that moment, I started moving about my life the way I wanted mm -hmm. and restructured myself to slowly, slowly, but to this person I am right now. 
and the structuring is still going on actually because I see myself in a very, 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 very high place. Let me put it like that. Because if I tell you how I actually see myself, it feels day crazy for you to like. Check. I literally see you in a high place too, because of how tall you are. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll go on a very quick break. When mm -hmm. we return, we'll continue this wonderful conversation with CG Obasi. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right yeah. back. Welcome back to the show. You're still watching Nka on Afia TV, DSTV 254 and Go TV 17. Of course, on socials, it's Afia TV official. My name is Faber Obi Nyoluba, and I'm here with the very, very, very inspiring CJ Obasi. We've had all sorts of conversations and we're on a high. So nothing is going to bring us low for now. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go to the part of you that's a producer. I feel like... Um, you're an artist, you're a producer, you're a guitarist. Mm. Which, for um, according to what you said, they're like they are like different parts of you. Yeah. Music is the like music is the center, but like all of them are different parts of you and different ways that you express yourself. Yeah. You even have an EP coming that's like the artist side of you. Yeah. But like, let's go to you being a producer. producer. I feel like as a producer, it's it's really behind the scenes work. It's the side of people that is like oh you know relax, it's chill, mm. and it's really difficult to be a producer. Because first of all, depending on the kind of producer or the kind of um, whatever it is that you do, yeah. there is the producers, they mix and master. Yeah, um, actually, if you want to learn how to do that shit, yeah. that's on you. But there are people like, when you learn something separately, you're like a specialist for that thing, okay. that kind of piece. So... So like they are so mixing engineers, oh, they are okay. producers, they are recording engineers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are people that record for a living, like it's an actual job. So you just recording yeah, engineers. But as structure no day for this our country, and so many people want to pay so little for so much. Yeah. So that's why you get to see where producers mix and master and do a whole lot of work. You understand so that producers are the ones that also make the beats yes producers are the ones that make the beats mm. uh, producers can also be the ones that direct the people making the beats hmm. yeah like you want you like if i'm if i want to do a live session that means i want live instruments mm. i can if i'm telling this guy what to play and it's already there like i'm telling you what to play you are telling you what to play i'm telling you what to play you understand is from my head, so I'm producing you guys. And a producer's job is also to know, like, to make sure that the music is going accordingly. Yeah. Sometimes, if the artist wants to do a type of vibe that doesn't really sit well with the beat, sometimes some melodies clash with some melodies of the beat, or the words don't sit right. Or you understand so many, so many things where the producer, uh, the producer can input to make the whole song a beautiful result. Wow! So it's a, it's a really, it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's not just oh, making beats and whatnot. It's, it's yeah. actually a lot of work, and that's that's really beautiful. So now I know that you are someone who is musically inclined. You are someone who you know you 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 have this, which is something that you've also said it, it was. Your dad also had it too, yeah. which is you could get, you could hear music and you're like you want it to be the exact same way. Yeah. But I also think that that's where skill also comes in place because there are things I hear in my head and I cannot make it the same way because yeah. I, I don't know nothing about I don't know nothing about music. That's so I was how about. did you now learn you know how to? Because I feel it's something that you still need to learn. Mm -hmm. So how did you learn to produce? Okay, so. Um there's one of my guys family um he's an artist he's a rapper busy but he has not been active for a while but he's still good so that my guy now my per se will be say we met in a session i came to play guitar on his track so we had a different kind of connection and we became very very close friends like brothers so, 
didn't know say I be artist and the singer, the vibe. So it was like, bro, let's start recording. We we'll get free beats and we we'll record on his laptop, and it was sounded dope. As they record, they record, they record. I tell this guy, bro, this beats, this thing, I feel do one. Mm. He say, "Omo, no be lie, yo." <laughs> say, believe me, that say no wahala now. And so, I think I came back to Enugu that period. I got a laptop. I got like a laptop and installed things. I didn't really get much, uh, just a laptop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, and I came back to Lagos because that time I was living with him. So I came back to Lagos and I just they go at town every time. They tried to hear, they tried to do what they hear from my head. And I, I now discovered using a door is like learning an instrument. You know, in an instrument, you just want to hear the melodies like you have in your head on the instrument. Uh, but in production, it goes beyond the melodies. We have, we have drums, you understand? So many things you can do with it as far as your head can go. Yeah. So, yeah. I think I, I went at it in three months, four months. I don't they do so much. Yet. Wow. Yeah, so... In a year, people I've, uh, people know even believe say I don't they produce for a year. That I went hard on it. And this was something you started three years ago. Yeah. Producing was like three years ago. Yeah. Wow. So, I made I tried my best and I got results. Your best is really good, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> now let's 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 move on to yeah. producing for some of the biggest artists in Nigeria. Who did you first produce for? Who was like the first big artist that you produced for? How did you meet that person and how did it make you feel? Well, first artist I produced for... Um, um, I just scroll through the files from my head, sorry. So, um, um, well... Uh, you know, really to go far like that, but I don't produce for a lot of people. And the artists, I don't produce a lot of things. Also, we know they out. Yeah. Yet, but some things will be out very so, very soon. Yeah. yeah. So I have I have things with your faves. I have things I have with the more the black. Wow. I have with um, Black Bones, I have with uh, Monarchy. Wow. Yeah. And some other, that, the Ladi Post one is going to drop real soon. And there's an album coming. And yeah. So I have, I have something with David O too. Wow. Yeah, but that one is low key. I'm not even supposed to cast them like this because <laughs> exclusive, they, they exclusive. Catch me, they catch me like this now. My money go cut like mad. But it's it's really beautiful, you know, because this is um a uh, Enugu, you know, started starting in Enugu and then you know moving to Lagos now, which is the conversation I said we're going to have like later in the mm. show. We have this um real serious craze of a lot of Enugu creatives, Southeast creatives, wanting to jack out to Lagos because they feel like when they get to Lagos, there are more opportunities in Lagos. They meet whoever it is they want to meet. They get paid better, you know, all of that, all of that, all of that. Well, I would not say it's a lie. A lot of people have said, oh, wherever you are, you can blow from wherever you are. Other people have said, um, yes, it's true. When you get to Lagos, they give you more. Some people are like, yes, there are not a lot of investments here in Enugu. There are no record labels, mm -hmm. there are no, you know, the parties and everything. There are yeah. not, the ecosystem in Inugu yeah. for creatives is not as much as, you know, as you get in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Other people are like, the pay, the value, different people have different opinions. And you're someone who is, you've worked with the biggest artists in Nigeria. You're currently in Lagos now, you know, it's Inugu that you're now shuffling with. What is your take on this? So, um, well... I'm not sorry. <laughs> I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Music doesn't thrive here. Yeah. 
It's sad, but it's facts. And um, there's something you can't see here randomly. You can't just see an artist where they randomly put $500,000 on top in the mm. East. It doesn't happen. So if that kind of thing happens in Lagos, that means there's a whole lot of value yeah. in the music pee. So if you they carry guitar around for here, and if you they carry guitar around for Lagos, the vibe is different. Here they are like, ah, so this boy won't waste in life. Yeah. So you feel me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this boy won't waste in life. Um there is like ah I guy they make money past bank, but still they work for bank. Mm. You understand? Because the average pay is not even the same. Yeah. Self. So music is not really valuable here. I really feel that the way that they see music for here now is something to use, an excuse to spray money. Mm. You understand? Or uh, those musicians, let them come now. They'll spray the money and it's a good time. But some people don't really, well, let's say, enjoy the arts or they are not really keen about the arts. Yeah. They are just, the music is just like one of the things in the list to have a functional party. Yeah. You understand? So it's not treated as if the music is a big deal. So oh. at the end, now play, play with the user and do. Oh. So what um, we need. I was, I was about to ask you, what do you think we can do to yeah. make it better? What we need, I think, is if I say investors now, no, I'm waiting everybody don't they talk. Obviously, we need investors in the music P. And but do you think that? Uh, let me not cast. Let me not say something. But do you think that the Enugu Enugu artists, yeah. Enugu producers, do you think they are worth investing in? Some, yes. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Yes. Fair. Um. Well, I'm from this city, and I know a lot of really talented yeah, okay. creatives in this city, and they are being slept on because music doesn't just thrive here. So, I really think um, we should stop making music as a, a something to add to the list for a function. If we make it a big deal, the big deals that we are talking about to start looking for us because in Igbo, let me say it's Nigeria, but mm -hmm. I don't think that edgy body here enough like you understand yes some artists know they really go all out and i know some artists where they go all, all out, out. True. and if you go all out you must get results so i also think on the artist side i really think a lot a lot of our artists should start going all out and start instead of looking at other artists like people will don't blow start looking at them like competition and start rating the quality of your work with the quality of the music you are hearing yeah. right now. And with, um, I think if you create a very, um, a very valuable market, you will get people that want to, like... Invest. Yeah. yeah. So I want to, let me ask you this question before we go on another break. And it's, there's pain it forward, there is cut soap. You're someone who is already, I'll call you an egg in the industry. Hmm. If there are, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, like a big big brother. If there any artist that, that's based here, who doesn't, first of all, I feel like, if, first of all, if they do not know you, something shows they are not really going all out. Because hmm. my definition of when you go all out, you should know people that, oh, this person also came from here. Let yeah. me find ways to link, link with this person as well. Maybe this person would help or whatever. Hmm. But how... How are you? How would you say you're cutting soap for the people that are still here in the in Enugu who you know they're really good and they're going on out? How would you say you're helping these guys? Well, 
Omo, just know that, you know, a lot of times, people think like, people they think like, say, person way don't blow, mm. really get so much when it go do for you. But actually, now, what thing you do for yourself with it actually use. Yes, 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 yes. So, I, I only do my best. You understand? I have a platform. I can always share stuff. Yeah. You understand? If you need to link up with somebody, if it's in my power, and I can make it happen. And you are worth it. Yeah. Before you go and spoil somebody, connect. Yes, no. Normally, yeah. because yeah. I'm not going to even try that kind of thing. Hmm. True. Word. So, yeah. I go out, I'm doing my best for my guys because last last now streets we all day. Mm -hmm. Now just say I just get higher clientele now. It's still the same P. Nothing changed. And I'm not a person to start feeling somehow because of small achievements. Because that's how I see it. Yeah. And it's going to get really big. And I can only do my best. Yeah, You're back at that one. Yes. <laughs> I agree, and you know, a lot of times we have this, this entitlement that people have. Oh, uh, -uh have you not met this person? Have you know, let's just link me up, just one link up them. But you people fail to realize that you're also putting yourself at risk or at stake. Yeah. If you link, if I link you with somebody, and first of all, you don't, you're not that good. You know, you're not that good. You have bad attitude to work mm. you you're not professional yeah. next time that person is me that is cutting my own yes no. you know so it's people need to see that first of all like you've rightfully said you know you have to create value you have to be very valuable first yes. you cannot you can only do so much if i see that oh you're already doing so much for yourself and all of that hey it's easy for you to say heaven help those who help themselves so if yes, you're already no, helping yourself it's easier for me to help is using me to do my yeah, job true. I, if i ever do something or I did you where you see as big deal or I link you up with person will be say finally something big can come out of them. I know they say I'm like say I help you mm. or say I'm like every time when I they pray to become what I want be I'm like God a lot of people need me to become this thing. Yeah. And I will just do my part. Yeah, word. See Jabas is a very kind person. If me I help give you link and you make it, nah me I may be your godfather for oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I may be your godfather for that industry. I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> we'll go on a very quick break. When we return, we'll go to the final segment of Unka, the game segment. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to Encount Afia TV, broadcasting live from Enugu, the coast city. My name is Favor Obi Yoluba, and of course, I still have CJ Obasi, and we've been having such an amazing conversation today on tonight on Unka. And now it's time for our game segment, which I've said is my favorite segment of Unka. <laughs> is this side eye for me? Okay. I thought that was side eye, is that? <laughs> I'm like, game segment. <laughs> so CJ is going to be doing something really nice for us. He's going to be rating from best to worst some of his colleagues in the industry. So it's either that or he takes a gulp of hot water. That's why the hot water was here. Oh, I will give you, I will give you the normal right. one. Do you get? So, so now, rate from best to worst these producers. Nami, Kizzy Clef, Nameless, Major Bangs, and Celebobo. See Cruzo. <laughs> All of them are my tight guys. Who... Nami, Kizzy Clef, Clef, Nameless, Major Bangs, and Celebobo. Okay. I can go from best to... Worst. Yeah, okay. So... Number one for me, he gets why. Mm. We don't need the why, we just need it to rate. Just, <laughs> just, read. just read, just read. Okay. Um, Nami. Nami, okay. Yeah. Uh, nameless. Nameless. Celebable. Celebable. Um, so between Kizzy Clef and Major Banks. Major Banks. Then Kizzy Clef is the worst on this list. Yes. Okay. So Nami, Nameless, Celebobo, Major Banks, and Kizzy Clef. Yes. Okay. Let's go to the artists. Rate from best to worst these artists. Check. Wait, I don't think we did it well. 
So rate right from best to worst, these MCs, Slow Dog, Zoro, Cola Boy, Black Bones, and Udumud Black. Hmm. Slow Dog, Zoro, Cola Boy, Black Bones, and Udumud Udumu Black. Black. Udumud Black, okay. Oh, um... I'm a, in this whole Islam, like this, first. Maybe we'll just keep Slow Dog. Okay. For one side, but okay. because Slow Dog is like number five okay. for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But the best in that list, um, you said. Odimo do black, Zoro, Cola Boy, and Black Bones. Okay. I, they try to decide between Zoro and Black Bones because Zoro is hard. Yeah. Yeah, Zoro is hard, the sound is hard. But Black Bones, they buzz more. And Black Bones is also hard. Mm. More Black Bones, number Black Bones. one. Then Zoro. Then? Odumo the Black. Then Cola Boy. Then Cola Boy. Then Slow Dog. Yes. Okay, fair, fair, fair. So now you can relax. You have escaped. You have escaped. Calm down. <laughs> oh, but I don't know if you my opinion on the actual. I'm going tell you now. <laughs> All right, let's do some fire questions. Best place to live in the East, Enugu or Weri? Enugu. Egusi or Enugu? Egusi. Abacha or Pizza? Hmm. I don't know why I won't talk. Hmm. Pizza <laughs> defy to Pizza on a very strong man. Pizza on a very strong man, but the motherland. <laughs> Suits or <laughs> traditional? Hmm. Okay, this kind of question with that. <laughs> okay. Suits. Clubbing or sleeping? Sleeping. Calls or texts? Calls. Older or younger women? Older. Light skin or dark skin? TJ, you're such a cruise. Such a cruise. Yeah. Light skin or dark skin women? Dark skin. Loyalty or respect? Respect. Chicken or goat meat? Chicken. Chicken or turkey? Turkey. Egusi or gbono? Egusi again. Fufu or Amala? Fufu. Moi Moi or Akara? Moi Moi. Puff Puff or Bones? Bones. Fried Rice or Jollof? Jollof. Asun or Unkobi? Unkobi. Okay. These are really good answers. So now, finally, finally, I know you've said it, you've sprinkled it, you know, in the midst of our conversation, the line of our conversation, but um, what new projects should we be expecting from you? Yeah. So, the first project that will be coming out this year is Sleeping Giant. Mm. And the reason that EP is named Sleeping Giant, they're still going to be Sleeping Giant, the album, and this is Sleeping Giant, the, the EP, EP. Mm -hmm. and they'll be Sleeping Giant, the album. album. And the album is not in this year. Mm -hmm. But this year we'll be having the Sleeping Giant, Sleeping Giant, the EP, then we'll have Mood Swings, then the last EP for you is All For Love. All for love. All love songs oh. on the EP. Yeah. So I really think my sound like is something like my father's sound way. You guys like see a whole project, see a whole part of me, yeah. a whole mood for me. Another project being another mood entirely. So this sleeping giant, I believe my spirit animal is the panda. Mm. And if you research about panda as a spirit animal, you see that it's a symbol for calmness and power. Yeah, the panda is not inactive. It's active when it's supposed to be. And if a panda comes to you as a spirit animal, you know that you just got to calm down and organize your life and that sleeping giant pee i'm like 
I'm not saying the biggest giant like Bonner Boy. I'm like, I'm a giant on yeah. my own. Yeah. And the panda is known as a giant. Yeah. So, like a calmer one. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I still they do a lot giant of patterns. Yeah. And I believe I'm very rare. So, yeah, sleeping giant. So, when is it, when is it going to be out? Yeah, it's going to be out May, May 10th. May 3rd or 10th? 10th. May 10th. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's something to definitely look forward to. So, of course, you've heard from CJ Abasi himself. He's such an inspirational artist, producer, guitarist. He's, when it comes to music, he, he's savvy. He knows his onions. So, you can definitely go out and check him on socials. On Instagram, it's CJ Obasi. So, just, if you just type CJ Obasi, you definitely, his page will come out. And it's somebody that you should definitely connect with. And, of course, set reminders. Keep your fingers crossed for May 10th when his EP, Sleeping Giant, is going to be out. It's not something that you want to miss. Yeah. And of course, thank you so much, CJ, for joining me today. Thank you. And to you, our viewers, thank you so much for watching Nka this evening. Remember that Nka airs every weekday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's not something that you want to miss. My name is Favor Obin Yaluba. <laughs>